Democratic vice presidential candidate Tim Kaine is in Minnesota this evening. Kaine was born in St. Paul. It is his first visit to Minnesota as the Democratic vice presidential nominee. Today, student volunteers for the Hillary Clinton campaign greeted him. Pat Kessler's in Minneapolis tonight where Senator Kaine's going to hold a private fundraiser. Pat, what did you learn today? Yeah, Tim Kaine in Minnesota. Hillary Clinton is off the campaign trail. Her campaign says she is battling pneumonia, but there are some high profile candidates for her, the surrogates, including President Bill Clinton, President Barack Obama, and here in Minneapolis tonight, vice presidential candidate Tim Kaine. Kaine's Minnesota visit comes 56 days before the election, a campaign that is suddenly closer than expected. Right here, one, two, three. The Virginia senator making an unscheduled stop at the University of Minnesota, greeting students at Kaufman Union at the U for almost an hour. Students taking selfies and talking politics. We heard that he was down here and we were actually like three blocks away yeah, we're or like, so. No way. So we He's ran not down here. here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm sweating because we yeah, ran. Me too. <laughs> Kane is in Minnesota two days after Hillary Clinton became ill, stumbling into a van in New York, her campaign announcing she's recuperating now from pneumonia. But Minnesota Trump supporters want to talk about something else. And it's no way to talk about your political opposition. Trump's Minnesota campaign surrogates called on Kane to apologize publicly for Clinton's recent remarks calling half of all Trump supporters deplorable. What stands out to us is the utter contempt that Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine have shown for their political opposition. This is utter contempt. Well, Tim Kaine continues his private fundraiser here in Minneapolis for the next couple of hours. He did not speak to reporters and is not expected to make any kind of public appearance outside this fundraiser tonight. And also, Frank, we don't know when or if any of the other candidates will be back in Minnesota in the next 56 days before the election. Hey, hey Pat, refresh our memory. How long was he a St. Paul light? And why is he here? I mean, is the Clinton campaign uh, yeah. worried about Minnesota? Well, Tim Kaine was born in St. Paul, so we can claim him as a Minnesotan. But he only lived here for a couple of years. As a very young child, his family moved to Missouri, and now he lives in Virginia, the U.S. senator there. And no, the Clinton campaign doesn't think it's that worried about Minnesota. They're just here to raise money. That's what all of the campaigns are about right now, raising as much money as they can for the campaign. Now, Minnesota has not voted Republican since Richard Nixon in 1972, and political experts don't think it's going to happen this year either. All right. Pat, live in Minneapolis, thank you.